week. Today's book is going to be Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Imus. I have to say that I love this book. Why? Okay, let's... Uh, first I'm going to explain a bit of the summary of the book and then I'm going to tell you why I love this book so much. Here we have this band of people who were called the Kings of the Wild and they were like some sort of adventurers, people who made quests, mercenaries for hire. So they went around the world just saving princesses and killing dragons and fighting with goblins and all that kinds of things. And one day um, they retired and went the separate ways. And we find at the beginning of the book, we find Clyde and he's happy with the life he has now. Uh, he has a wife, he has a daughter, and he has settled. And he has another job now, and he th remembers those golden days in which he was with his brothers and friends, and you know, and he was happy and he was fighting. But now he's okay with the life he has. He has done all those things, and he has grown old, and his body, you know, he has pains, he has back pains, and he has, you know, and he's happy. And suddenly, um, when he's going back home, he finds one of his friends, Gabriel, that's one here, and comes to see him because there is this big city called Castia, and Castia is under siege. Uh, there is this guy who has like this monster army that's running the city, and it's like, okay, it seems like everyone inside the city is going to die. Thing is, his daughter, Rose, is inside the city. And he wants to go save her because no one, the government, the, no, no one wants to send an army to, to help her, her, the people that are inside. And uh, at the beginning you think, okay, Clay is going to say yes, but Clay says no. Because he has lots of things now that matter to him. He isn't young and reckless anymore and he doesn't want to lose what he has. But uh, things happen, he changes his mind and he decides to accompany Gabe. And the thing is, Gabe is also far from who he was. He was this golden boy, he was like the leader of the band, and now he seems like he's like some kind of craven, some kind of coward, something has happened to him, he has changed a lot, because uh, all these people, um, we find them, as I say, when they have disbanded, but all of them had people living, obviously, and we find them look like, oh, I don't remember if it was 10 or 15 years or 20 years from when they disbanded, so they have they had had all the kinds of lies, and some of them are very prosperous, some of them are drunkards, some of them, you know. And the thing is, uh, we are going to, in this book, we are going to follow this uh, quest of bringing the band back together. Uh, there are going to be moments in which they are unsure if someone is going to be, you know, willing to, to be together again in this suicide mission. And, uh, you know, I, I love that, to see how things were left when they were younger and how they are now and how they fit or don't fit together anymore and I love that. And uh, I'm not going to say much about the plot. Let's say that we have an evil guy or a bad guy because we have to have someone lying siege to the city. But the great thing about this author is that he has created an amazing story but he has also created amazing characters and all the characters are fully fleshed out and you can really believe that there is some bad somewhere telling you this story and that these people really existed. And this also applies to the bad guy. I love that the bad guy has reasons for being who he is and for doing what he, he's doing. I mean, I don't like when you have a bad guy who is a bad guy because he has to be a bad guy because someone has to be the bad guy. I love when you have a bad guy who has a bad story that's being brought forward and you can understand why he is doing what he's doing. So at the end of the book, if the bad guy wins, it wouldn't be so terrible because you understand and you know you can empathize with him and you can see, okay, I see you. And that for me is amazing when an author is able to create a bad guy like that, that you can understand and, and you could even support him if you didn't have the good guys here. For me, that's amazing. And I have to say that the band, all the guys you know, here in the cover, when you begin the book, you don't have any idea who they are. But when you end the book, you recognize every one of them. And every one of them is, so, as, as I say, so fully fleshed out. That's amazing. You know who he is, even if you didn't read the name like Clay say or Gabriel real say you're gun alone you you, understand, you know who they are for by the way they bear themselves or you know talk around each other you know who every one of them are and that's something that i loved uh, one of the things also that i love about this book it's that we have this band of people who are old who are not on their prime who 
you know, because usually when you have these kind of books, you have like these young heroes that want to make a name for themselves and, you know, go on quests and adventures. But here we have this band of guys who already have done that. And they're past their prime. Some of them are even fat. Some of them are drunkards. Some of them are cowards. Some of them had had a hard life. And uh, at the beginning of the book, it seems like you keep on laughing because stupid things keep on happening to them because they are all so out of shape and so out of touch with whom they used to be and the things they used to do. That's funny. See them, you know, it's like, okay, my God. And at the same time, in the same page, you can laugh and you can end like not crying, but feeling a lot for them because there's lots of stories here that really touch you. There is one of them that lost someone he loved to an illness and that he has that illness. And so on the same page, you can find yourself laughing because something went, you know, this is totally bad. And at the same, in the same moment, you can also find yourself acting to hold that person and say, I'm sorry. And for me, that's amazing how this book um, keeps, you know, this duality because I find it is a very human book because it's talking about things that can happen to anyone. Okay, yeah, you cannot kill a dragon, but, you know, you can understand when someone is trying to fight his way and then one part of his body aches and he's going to lose and you can have a brother of... of they're friends, but, you know, it's like those close relationships in which they can also be brothers, but, you know, and they help each other and that's, that's amazing. And I love this mixture of just having fights and then just crying and then laughing for me has been amazing. And also funny thing, when I began the book, the, I went, I, sorry, when I ended the book, at the end, there's this interview with the author. And one of the questions is, what inspired you to do this book? And he say, rock stars. And I was like, what? <laughs> and yeah, I read what he say, and it all made sense too. Because we have this band here that were like, they had like the golden days. And now you have, uh, there were lots of bands like them. And all of them had the glory days. And now they have these younger bands who want to be as famous, as have as, mu as much glory as the, uh, the, as the older ones did. And the, the previous uh, bands they did out in the wild, just, you know, to garner fame and glory. And the ones now, you, they put themselves into some sort of a stadiums where they fight. And it was like, okay, now I see it in, in another, you know. And even the different weapons that the guys here have are like, uh, they, they have this parallelism with instruments. Like this one has two knives, it's like two drumsticks. This one with the shield with clay, uh, it's like the bassist. Uh, this one is like the guitarist. And I was like, oh my God, for me, it was funny finding this thing, you know, this one is the leader, the forefront, the, you know, and I was like, okay, now it's even funnier. I have to say that this is an amazing read. If you like fantasy, and you've liked books about adventures, about a bunch of people who are going to defy horrible odds that you don't know if they're going to be able to make it or if they're going to die. Uh, if you like books that make you laugh, like really laugh, like, oh my God, you know, and also at the same time, feel for the characters and feel their pain and feel where they are afraid of failing, of losing the people they have waiting for them back home. If you look amazing books, if you look, if you love amazing books, pick this one because it's an amazing book. It's the first book I think that the author has written and it's amazing. The writing, it's top notch, the characters are amazing and the story is one that, that I think it deserves to be read. It's amazing. So thank you for watching. Bye.